Hello, 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 my lovely friends. It's Christine Trainer here talking to you from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. How are you doing today on this 24th, 24th day of June, the 24th day of the sixth month of the new decade? So, I hope you're doing well today as I continue on with my daily thoughts. And today is Take Action Wednesday. Now, I have a lot to share today, so I hope I can do it all within 10 minutes. Countdown right now, right? So, I actually was thinking yesterday and today um, about something, and believe it or not. I really was pondering on this from time to time. And I tell you what, as I continue on what I'm sharing today, got my notes here. Let's get started. Something, when there's something in your life that you really wanted to take the next step, okay? Take the next step. State, take action in your life to move in the direction of your life and that compels you to do it. And you're wondering whether you should take the bull by the horn, right? Let's get started. And well, I wanted to share this today because I'm excited about something new in my life that's kind of interesting, but I want to share this as well. Quite often we are we are working in every direction, hmm, searching what to do with our life. Here, there, there, there. You never stop, right? Your brain is always in tune, wondering what you want to do. And we get confused. We are paralyzed with fear because making the decision to move forward can be such a scary thing. And you know it's a scary thing, right? It, you may, may, may be contemplating your purpose to figure out what you are here for, right? So much thinking in your brain, right? That you reach a feeling that you don't want to do. You don't want to do it because it's just too much to think about. So there are many who are just know exactly what they want to do. They go forward, they go in the direction, and they get started with either school. They might go to college, might go to university, might take some wonderful courses online. They know what they want to do. But some of us, eh, not quite. And I'm one of them, guys. So what I want to share with you is a lot of people will change and reinvent themselves so many times in their life. And they're happy as they do it. And that's kind of cool thing to do, right? So reaching a state of not knowing what to do, it can actually be a good thing for you. Because change is right around the corner. That's what that means. Whether it be your personal life, whether it be your professional life. And I read an article the other day, and you know me and my personal development. And I love what this had to say because it kind of made me think, right? It's five steps to help you what to do next in your life, right? The next step on your road to become more successful in your personal and professional life. And the first one, I love it. It just says take some time out. Basically, take some time to sit with the unknown. Allow yourself to be still. To reconnect to your inner self. Like spending some time in nature, going for beautiful walks, doing some meditation, doing some journaling. It's important to clear the clutter in your head, right? Because it can really clutter your mind. Take time to realign your core values. Ask yourself what is really important, right? And the second one, feel your emotions. Because when you feel and examine your emotions, you will find they have something to teach you. Exactly. Like doubt, apathy, fear, panic, especially about your future. So feeling whatever is arising and know that they will eventually pass. They'll eventually pass because you'll start to, uh, the more you spend acknowledging what you feel, the less scary your emotions will seem over time. Exactly. And the third one, explore your passions. Right, guys? With the free time, you're, you're increasingly understanding your emotions. Next, let's explore what brings you joy. What is your passion? What do you enjoy doing in life? What is your hobbies, right? Spend more time doing what you love or try something new. Take that focus away of too much thinking what to do with your life, right? And when you are joyful, it sets you up to receive more joy, which means like attracts like, attracts like, right? At the end of the day, you will know what is right for you exactly. And the fourth one, as you explore your passion, it's vital you take inspired action right and i love this meaning of expired action which means you really feel good about the next step in your life right and you're moving forward with conscious awareness so it's the intention behind the action that can make things easy or difficult in your life right line up your energies first and approach your next step for an inspired way of thinking life will happen just as it's meant to be fifth one let go of the outcome because quite often we refuse to take the next step because we're fearful of the outcome if we're going to fail or maybe it's not going to work out oh it's always something that goes on in our head and we think about the outcome first 
So basically it means you're left with in a state of inaction. You don't want to take the next step. So how about this? Let go of the outcome. Don't let fear stop you from exploring possibilities. Remain open, teachable, and coachable. It's okay to not know the outcome of all the time. Change is inevitable and it brings growth. Exactly, exactly. I like what I wrote down here. Now, you can't bury your head in the sand forever, guys. So life has a wonderful way of encouraging us, you know, to change when you're step out, when you stop going with the flow, like just stay put, basically, your comfort zone. Now, I tell you what. This was a very interesting article because a few weeks ago, guys, I was in that kind of way in my life because I was still going along, doing my doing internet marketing, doing social media marketing, but I felt I was stagnant. I wasn't really going anywhere where I want to go, and I was feeling kind of frustrated with myself because I, I didn't quite understand about attraction marketing, video marketing, uh, also about uh, understanding about leads, organic leads. It was just all beyond my comprehension, and I knew I needed to know more, but I was like, my mind was <laughs> racing. So a few weeks ago, before I started this new thing I'm on now, I decided to take a breather and take some time, exercise, and reassess my values in my life and to really get myself understanding how I'm feeling. And I was feeling fear. I was feeling agitation. I was feeling anxiousness. It was crazy. And believe it or not, when I started just doing what I like to do, which I like to bake and cook and do create new things, which is something I like to do, and do some enjoyable exercising and really enjoy some good, honest movies on TV, Something came my way. Uh, a wonderful friend shared this wonderful platform with me. Guys, I'm forward to the move about this platform because I started, I'm learning about attraction marketing. I'm learning about organic leads. I'm learning about paid lead, uh, leads, you know, attracting to your business. I'm learning about understanding about core values of who I am. I'm learning with the most amazing, beautiful teacher and leader and the most phenomenal life coach, uh, uh, success coaches that help you along the way. And you know what the kicker is, guys? I'm actually earning as I'm learning. This past few weeks, I've been making money while learning with this new platform I'm on. Guys, I tell you, it's I'm so pleased. And if you're curious and you're interested, hit me up, guys. I'll share my information to you to help you become more successful in your online journey too. If you are feeling stuck, this is a wonderful platform I just started. And I made a little bit of money while I'm earning, learning and it's so simple. The simple task I'm doing to help me increase my business threefold on social media, social media marketing, it's amazing. And there's something I was missing. I was learning and I was wanting to take the next step. And I took the next step and I'm proud of myself. And it's only been a few weeks, but packed full weeks of training and learning and wonderful leadership and awesome success coaches and earning while I'm learning, I tell you. So hit me up, guys, if you're curious. I have any kind of information. I'd love to share it with you all. As I continue on, let's do some quotes. You know me and my quotes. Let's start with the first one. I like this one. It says, sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest, which I just did. Step up your life. Tiptoe if you must, but take the next step. And I did. And I'm so proud I did. You don't have to have it all figured out to move forward. Just take the next step. And this one, you're, I like writing this one. Your life only gets better when you when you get better. So take the next step. Oh, I like that. I'm excited because I love sharing this particular share today on my Take Action Wednesday. Ambition is the first step to success. The second step is action. Yes. And, of course, this one by Vivian Jokatad. I discovered that a fresh start in a process is a process. A fresh start is a journey, a journey that requires a plan. Yes, taking the next step, getting started. And this one by F. Scott Fitzgerald, perfect ending to my daily thoughts today on Take Action Wednesday. It never, It's never too late to become who you want to be. I hope you live a life that you are proud of, and if you're not, I hope you have the strength to start over. Yes, and I started over a few weeks ago with my awesome platform I'm on. So guys, I love you all. Have a beautiful, prosperous day. Take the next step in your life. Hit me up if you're curious what I'm doing right now. But take the next step. That's the main thing. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.